Have you ever wondered why the Euphrates River, a seemingly ordinary watercourse, has such a significant place in history? This journey of discovery that we are embarking on today will transport us through time and space, back to the cradle of civilization, ancient Mesopotamia. Here, the Euphrates River and its sister stream, the Tigris, bore witness to the early stirrings of mankind's urban development, breathing life into the first cities that ever took form on this planet. The fertile lands around the Euphrates were a nurturing cradle for some of the earliest societies. The Sumerians, the Akkadians, the Babylonians, and the Assyrians. Each of them found their home in the vicinity of this magnificent river. They established grand cities like Ur, Uruk, and Babylon, carving out their existence on the banks of the Euphrates. The river, in return, fed these civilizations, providing a constant flow of sustenance, enabling the growth and prosperity of these ancient societies. Not content with just harvesting the river's bounty, these societies displayed an admirable spirit of human ingenuity. They constructed intricate irrigation canals, skillfully channeling the waters of the Euphrates to transform the barren desert into a blooming garden of Eden. This feat stands as a testament to the power of human will and creativity, a legacy that continues to inspire us even today. Education, law, agriculture, astronomy, many foundations of modern society were laid here on the fertile plains surrounding the Euphrates. This river has shaped history, influencing the rise and fall of empires, nurturing civilizations and inspiring tales that have stood the test of time. They created irrigation canals, transforming the desert into a garden, a testament to human ingenuity. But the Euphrates was not just a source of life, it was a lifeline that ran through the heart of ancient civilizations, weaving a tale of humanity's story, both its triumphant victories and its harrowing downfalls. Like the life-giving veins in a body, it flowed with a power that was beyond comprehension, a power that was both destructively terrible and constructively magnificent. The river was not only a provider of sustenance, it also served as a silent spectator grand theater of human history. Its calm waters mirrored the rise and fall of empires, echoing with the thundering march of soldiers and the victorious cries of conquerors. Among these were empires that left an indelible mark on the annals of human history. The Persian Empire, for instance, under the unyielding leadership of Cyrus the Great, traversed the expanses of the Euphrates to lay siege on Babylon in the 6th century BC. Their footsteps were followed by the Macedonian warrior king, Alexander the Great, who emulated their path many years later. His relentless pursuit of conquest heralded the downfall of the once invincible Persian Empire, a chapter in history that was both hastily brutal and ironically poetic. As time moved forward, the river's role did diminish. It morphed into a boundary, a line of demarcation drawn in the sand. It separated the illustrious Roman in the west from the shadowy Parthian Empire in the east. Think of it as a natural border, a frontier that bore witness to countless battles. The Euphrates was more than just a geographical feature, it was a stage. It was on this stage that the tale of two great powers played out, a gripping drama of ambition, power and rivalry. Imagine the clanging of swords, the strategic maneuvers of generals, the bravery of soldiers and the cunning of spies. The Euphrates encapsulated it all, its waves whispering stories of valiant courage and tragic loss. Fast forward to the Roman era, the Euphrates became a boundary, a line of demarcation between the Roman Empire in the west and the Parthian Empire in the east. It was a frontier that saw many battles, a stage for the rivalry of two great powers. As civilizations rose and fell, the Euphrates remained, steadfastly flowing through time and history. This majestic river bore witness to countless historic events and transitions, serving as a silent observer of mankind's incessant evolution. It saw the burgeoning birth of the Islamic faith in the 7th century, which brought not only a new religious doctrine, but also an explosion of advancements in arts, sciences and culture. Then came the Crusades in the Middle Ages, a period marked by fervor, conflict and conquest, but also by exchanges in knowledge, technology and ideas between East and West. The Euphrates, with its ceaseless flow, 
silently watched as Crusaders and Saracens clashed on its banks, their histories forever intertwined. Next, it was the rise of Ottoman Empire in the 16th century, a time of significant geopolitical shifts. This was an era of great military campaigns and vast territorial expansions with the Euphrates serving as a strategic gateway for the Ottomans. It facilitated trade, transportation and communication, thus directly contributing to the empire's prosperity and power. In the context of modern times, the Euphrates has transformed into an invaluable resource for the nations it traverses, Turkey, Syria and Iraq. Its waters, harnessed through a network of dams and hydroelectric projects, provide sustenance and electricity to millions, underscoring its crucial role in these nations' socio-economic fabric. However, this has not been without its share of controversy. The river's strategic importance has sparked disputes over water rights and dam projects, stoking tensions between these nations. These disagreements highlight the river's dual nature, a lifeline and a trigger of discord, Yet despite these challenges, the Euphrates continues to flow, serving as a testament to the resilience and perseverance of civilizations. Today, the Euphrates still flows, a silent witness to the passage of time. This ancient waterway flowing through modern realms speaks volumes of the endurance and adaptability of mankind, becoming a living embodiment of the ever-changing narrative of human history. It's an undeniable testament to the tenacity of human civilization, but it's also much more. The Euphrates River in its ceaseless flow serves as a remarkable symbol of the eternal movement of life, the unrelenting progression of history. The Euphrates is more than just a river or a geographical feature on a map. It's a lifeline, a vital artery nourished and nurtured the earliest human societies. Its significance goes beyond the physical, transcending into the symbolic and the metaphorical. It has been a stage set for the grandest of human dramas, the rise and fall of empires. It has been a boundary, delineating nations and shaping identities. In its essence, Euphrates is a resource that still sustains the societies lining its banks, mirroring the indispensability of nature to human survival. It is a symbol of our shared challenges and collective responsibility for the planet's resources. It underscores the delicate balance we must maintain between exploitation and conservation, between human needs and environmental sustainability. The Euphrates, hence, is not just a river. It's a tangible thread that weaves through the intricate tapestry of human history, bridging past, present and future. It connects us to our ancestral roots and simultaneously paves the way to our shared destiny. This timeless river in its silent strength encapsulates the myriad facets of human existence. Its tale is our tale, a testament to humanity's resilience, adaptability and continuous journey through the epochs. The tale of the Euphrates is our tale, the story of humanity's journey through time.